we're really grateful for the mercy of our Lord Jesus. But we're also called to participate in that mercy in another way too. And today I'd like to focus on the first reading from Genesis where we see the dramatic story of Joseph and his brothers who he hadn't seen for years. And what was behind that whole story? Well, remember that 20 years ago, his brothers had betrayed him, sold him into slavery for 20 pieces of silver. But you know what? God drew, drew good out of that situation. And Joseph was elevated to second in command over the whole country of Egypt. And so when this great famine hit, Egypt was the only country in the world that had sufficient food. And so people from all over the world were coming to Egypt to get their grain. And so that's why Joseph's brothers had traveled hundreds of miles to come to Egypt. And there they were begging the second in command for grain because they were starving back in their home country. Little did they know that the second in command was their younger brother, Joseph. But Joseph recognized them, but they didn't recognize him because he was speaking to them through an interpreter. You know, Joseph could have just turned them away and sent them home with nothing. But he looked at them with compassion and with love and forgiveness. And so he said, I shall give you the grain you eat. And he sent them away with all that they needed. But he also tested them. He said, you must bring back your youngest brother so I can see him. Well, you know, this story of Joseph is symbolic of Jesus saving you and me from our sins. Because as we recall, Judas betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. But you know what? God drew, drew good out of that. Jesus suffered and died on the cross, but on the third day, he rose from the dead. He conquered sin. He conquered death. He saved you and me. He opened the gates of heaven for us. Well, you know, we're really grateful for the mercy of our Lord Jesus, but we're also called to participate in that mercy in another way too. For, you know, if we think about our own life, we can probably think about a time when we were betrayed by someone. What was our response? Did we forgive them? Have we forgiven them? Well, you know, doing this today, I, I thought back on my own life and recalled a serious betrayal of me by someone. And although I had forgiven them, maybe something was still bothering me a little bit. So I decided I'm going to forgive them again. And to seal it, I said a Hail Mary. You wouldn't believe the joy I felt in my heart after saying that Hail Mary. So let us ask Jesus for a special grace to get today to forgive those who have betrayed us and to show mercy to everyone that he brings into our life. Ave Maria. Music